Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and this is a Samsung Smiley from T-Mobile. See? Smiley face. So it's a quick me messaging device basically from T-Mobile. has a full QWERTY keyboard, a 1.3 megapixel camera, email, text messaging. So it's a nice entry level device for maybe uh, teenagers or kids getting their first phone or if you just want a basic messaging phone that's nice and reliable, inexpensive. The Samsung Smiley is a good option for that. Now uh, we're just going to do a quick unboxing and then I'll use it and test it out for a while and then I'll do a full review for you guys. But this is just an unboxing. And by the way, um, I know the lighting may be a little bit too dark. I just got a new camcorder and it's an HD camera and so I'm finding that lighting kind of affects it differently than a regular camera. So bear with me. I'm going to be working with it and trying out a few things. Um, but anyway, it is an HD camera, so I know a couple of you guys left a comment saying that I should get a better camera, and I did! So, I know, I know. You were thinking the other day, like, wow, I really want to watch an unboxing of the Samsung Smiley, but I want it to be in high definition. Well, we were listening, so here it is! High definition. Anyway, and from now on I'll be that way too, but just want to let you know if it seems a little darker, that's why I'm still trying to figure out good uh, good lighting situation. So anyway, Samsung Smiley unboxing, um, unboxing messaging device from T-Mobile. Let's go check it out. So it's a Samsung Smiley from T-Mobile. It's a basic messaging phone. You can see that it has a full QWERTY keyboard. On the back, we'll get a few more of the features. Speaker phone, 1.3 megapixel camera with zoom. You also have a multi-shot camera mode, so that's pretty cool. I may have to check that out. Music player, GPS, 3G capable. So basically, like I said, just basic messaging phone. We're going to unbox it and take a quick look at it. In the box, you get the phone, the device, and it's in a bag. It's pretty nice. It's small. It feels really light. Um, kind of plasticky, but uh, it is, you know, a basic feature phone, so you have the navigation d-pad there. It's not a touch screen, so you're going to use that. And then the camera is not right there. That's the speaker grill. The camera must be somewhere else. Oh, there it is. Camera and a self-portrait mirror. That's the camera. Camera, self-portrait mirror. 1.3 megapixel camera. So put that aside and see what else is in the box. You have the charger, a wall charger, looks like micro USB. And then a package to recycle your old phones, or phone, probably just a phone. And then a battery. So let's take this battery out so we can put it in the phone and also check out what it is. <clears throat> Let's see, it is a 1000 milliamp hour battery. That's pretty, that's pretty good, that's not bad. And just a basic lithium ion battery. And that's pretty much it. On the other side here you've got all your documentation, so your warranty guide, getting started guide, having fun, because it's the smiley, so, well, the smiley was gone. It's the smiley! Smiley face. So that's all in the box, and let's go to the phone now, and first put the battery in. SIM card's already in there, that's good, and that. They have directions on how to get the battery cover on and off, even though that was probably the easiest one I've ever used <laughs> as far as getting it on and off, but. And push the power button, you can see it turn on. I'll do this really slowly for you guys. That was nice. That's kind of more like a... wasn't so much that plasticky kind, that was kind of more of like a soft plastic kind, so... a little bit different material. I know, only something I would notice, but... <clears throat> there, that was the more of the... yeah, the other plasticky kind. And then we have some on the side. Oh, there's some on the bottom. This thing's covered in plastic. More on there. Any more? I think that's it. I know there's more. Okay, so it's on. 
So just a basic home screen. You've got menu, web to go with the two soft keys there. Looks like a messaging button. That's pretty nice. That's kind of different, but nice. Back button, talk, send button, and end power button, and then a D-pad. And that's, yeah, that's also a button too. So that's kind of interesting. It looks like it would be lighting up, but it's not. So that must just must be just the design or something. And then the keyboard right there. So you can see it's uh, kind of rubbery. They're raised a little bit. So it's pretty much to me, you know, reminds me of the Samsung Flight that's basically the same uh, form factor. Or the Strive, actually, the Samsung Strive, if you saw that video. And uh, so just a basic keyboard with a double wide space bar, comma, dot com. Always cool when, it, when they do that. And is that an equal sign? That's an equal sign. That's weird. And alt symbol emoticon key. So let's go to messaging and uh, we'll just see what the interface looks like. Oh, okay, so that's kind of a different sort of menu there. People, messaging, media, settings. So it's, okay, so it's just a basic basic menu, but it's done in that little carousel type thing. That's kind of interesting, but we'll go to messaging, create message, uh, text message, and we'll go down to the message. See if I can get the whole key, the whole phone in the shot. Jump. Dogs. S. I put the S in there. That way I covered every letter in the alphabet because some people were complaining about that. So we got the S. Dogs. So yeah, nice keyboard. Uh, you couldn't see me very well when I was typing because I wanted you to see the whole phone. But it's actually a really nice keyboard. Nice and rubbery, not too firm. The keys are really easy to press and uh, you got a lot of traction on there so you're not sliding over the keys, it's easy to feel which ones, because um, there's also a little bit of a separation there whenever you get to the doming, so you can see it goes down. So it's easy to tell each key, one key from the other. And then the emoticon key, so that's nice. Let's see, that goes to, yeah, it goes to there. And then you can select the different emoticons. So very nice. Um, the interface, while the menu is interesting, uh, this interface is pretty pretty standard, pretty basic, which, you know, is fine. That's pretty much what I would expect for a feature phone, but a lot of them these days tend to have a little bit more design features to them. You know, this may look like a notepad or some other interesting design, but this is pretty basic. Um, but the menu, it was interesting how the menu was um, in that carousel style. No, I do not want to save. Okay, so... Let's see what else we can check out here. Uh, like I said, it does have a uh, music player, so that's probably under media. YouTube, interesting photos, games and apps, music, images. Oh, images, let's check out the, uh, the camera. Actually, let me give you a hardware tour. I don't think I did that. I didn't do that, I just showed you these buttons. So on the right side here, we have a dedicated camera button. And then this is where the charger goes. Yeah, charger as well as, it's a proprietary headphone jack. So no two and a half or three and a half millimeter headphone jack. That's a lanyard port. So it is a proprietary all the way with the charger and the headphone set. So uh, sort of, you know, I wish they would just give you a headphone jack, but whatever. And then the volume rocker and then a micro SD card slot. Doesn't look like it comes with one. No, it doesn't, so you'll have to put your own in there. Uh, but yeah, let's test out the camera. Unlock. Okay. Unable to start camera. Oh, please slide up. Oh, right, because the camera is right there. So. Okay, so let me snap a quick picture, then we'll check it out. Okay, so I took a picture there of the uh, of the box, and it's pretty basic. Send to my album or online. So I guess you can upload pictures, maybe to social networks, maybe not. I'll have to check that out. Um, let's see. Oh, look, and you can add voice too. 
So I guess if you're going to send it to someone like via text or MMS, you could add a voice recording to it. Anyway, that's a basic first look. Um, let me see if there's anything else we can go over. Also has basic HTML web browser. It, it's pretty light, feels kind of hollow, um, and it does, it, it sort of looks on the cheap side, um, even though it is obviously a lower end phone, um, there are still phones out there that, that have still a nice design to them. So it's kind of, I kind of wish this was designed a little better, but that's just a first impression. I may, after a while getting used to it, I may learn to appreciate it. But that's basically the Samsung Smiley, and um, we're going to do a full review for you guys and uh, you know tell you what I think about the web browser, more on messaging. But this is just a first look to see what it looks like out of the box and first impressions. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm Sydney, and um, oh, let me do a size comparison for you guys. This is the Kin 2, because I talked about how small it is, and it really is small. This is the Kin 2. Uh, so you can see, you know, this is not a big phone. It's basically like a... You know, any other feature phone that you would see today, here's the Pixie, the Palm Pixie, and you can see it's quite a bit shorter than that, and obviously it's pretty thin too. So, so it is a really small device, I'm guessing for, you know, teenagers or kids getting their first phone to be good for them. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to do a full review for you guys, but that's just a quick unboxing, and just a quick look ahead to what I'm going to be doing in a couple of days. Got the My Touch slide there, and um, you know I was thinking there's only so many Android devices with a with a full QWERTY keyboard, and the My Touch is one of them, and then the Motorola Droid is the other one, and those are the two uh, main Android devices with a physical keyboard. And people ask me all the time, I want an Android device or a smartphone, uh, but I need a physical keyboard, and so which one is best? And so I kind of always had to just say, well, the Droid because that was really the only one besides a Samsung moment. But now we have another choice, so I'm going to do a dogfight between these two. Uh, but I just got that today. So anyway, but that's not what this video is about. This is the Samsung Smiley. So anyway, there it is, guys. I'm Cindy from PhoneDog.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. And be sure and check out PhoneDog for all the other news, updates, and reviews, and our other sites, Droid Dog and uh, Beeberry Dog, today's iPhone. But thanks, guys, for watching. I'm Sydney, and I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.